Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Invite your followers. Hallelujah, glory be the name of Jesus. Thank you for the hearts. Keep on giving me more hearts. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. I am going to talk to you. The subject call my prayer for the morning. What is your prayer in the morning? What do you do in the morning? That's the title. My prayer for the morning. Before you go anywhere, before you do anything, what, do you, what prayer do you do? Are you busy? You are tired? You wake up and then you rush to the car? You rush to work? Do you talk to them in the morning? Do you command the morning? Do you speak to your morning? Do you take authority over the morning? Yeah, sometimes you take it, sometimes you don't. Because you are tired, you wake up rushing. So you don't have time to pray. It is a good time that I, I'm coming to your home, I'm coming to your car, I'm coming to you right now to, to pray with you. Better is two, two, two are better than one. So I'm coming to you to stand with you and we pray together. That's why I wake up and I start coming to you to pray to you with you. As we are going to look in the book from the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms 5 verse 3. The Bible says, the Bible says, Hallelujah. My voice shall thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and I will look up. In the morning, you direct your prayers to God, and you look up. My voice thou hear in the morning. In the morning is when you call upon God to hear your voice, to hear your voice. You direct your prayers to, the, to God and you look up for good things. In the morning is when you take the authority against the day, against, the, against anything programmed in that day. In the morning, anyway, maybe in your country, you, you are, where you are, it might be evening. But no matter, this is the time, wherever time is, you take authority against the hours. You take authority against the, the atmosphere, against the environment against the wind, against the powers of darkness, you take authority in the name of Jesus Christ. That as the, the word of God says, my voice shall thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and, and I will look up. Let's direct our prayers to, the, to, to our Father. And we look up because our help comes from Him. He's our resources. Is our resources, is our everything. Therefore, as I will take authority against this time, yes, hallelujah. Okay, what prayer request do you have? First lady, thank you. <laughs> Let me know what prayer request you want me to pray for you. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, I can pray for you. Let me know what you want me to pray for you. Okay, you are in UK. Yes, I will pray for you. My God, my Father, the, for the conference. Yes, a financial breakthrough. I will pray for you, my dear. God will open doors for you. Windows of heaven bless you. Break your breakthrough. Financial breakthrough, my God. You are our resources. That is why I am praying this prayer this time so that God can open doors for you for the resources. Because our Father is the owner of silver and gold. Is there our resources? My sister, your conference, God will see you through. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I will pray, I will pray for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Let's, let's, let's continue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let, let's, let's continue. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I am going to pray very serious prayer for those people who are looking for financial breakthrough and everything because our God is a God of resources. Even the conference in UK, God will throw the people who will come to attend the, the conference. God will see miracles and signs in the name of Jesus because we are taking authority against this time in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, 
my voice shall thou hear in the morning. O oh Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and I will look up. We direct our prayers to God, and we look up, because our God is our resources. Our God is everything that we need. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take authority over everything in this day. This day, this time, this hour, I take the authority to command and talk to the blessings from four corners of the world. You, the blessings, where my blessings is, where your blessings is, I pray that God will release them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I take the authority by the power in the blood of Jesus to release the blessings that is belongs to you in the name of Jesus. Every blessings, every blessings that belongs to you, I pray that God will give to you in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessings this time as I take the authority in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every blessings belongs to you. I take authority and I, I ask God to release it to you in Jesus' name. Enemy that is all in your blessing, I destroy them in Jesus' name. And I pray my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, as we look up, as we depend on you, because our help comes from you. We look up from to, to you in heaven. Be God, because heaven is where our resources is. As I pray, my God, my Father, release your blessings from, to us, God. Release your blessings to your people, my Father. Those who are having financial difficulty, my God, my Father, you are the owner of silver, God. My God, you are my Father. You are our Father. We come before you, Lord. I pray that God, Meet our needs according to your riches and glory, my Father. I pray for this lady who is having financial issues. And my God, you meet our needs according to your, your, glorious, uh, your glorious God, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God and my Father, in the name of Jesus, I draw upon heavenly resources today. In the name of Jesus, my God, I come before you to the heavens. Because the, you are our resources. I therefore, God, I throw the resources. I throw the resources from the heavens, God, my Father. God, my God, in the name of Jesus. Prayer, pray, pray that you throw the heavenly resources. Because in heaven there is resources. There is jobs in heaven. There is everything you are looking in heaven. So throw the resources, throw the blessings, throw anything you want from heaven. You pray, I, I, I throw upon heavenly resources today. I pray that God Almighty, my God, my Father, in the name of Jesus, God of resources, God is your resource. And pray that God, because he's the resources, he knows how to make that, that, that miracle. He is a miracle and a wonders God. Therefore, I pray that God, because you are our resources, my Father and my Father, in the name of Jesus, our help come from you this morning as we come before you as we come before you this time god we pray that god my father release your resources release your blessings release your jobs release your money god release god to us my father in the name of jesus christ father i pray god almighty even healing healing is from heaven lord release healing anybody who is suffering with pains with problems sickness and diseases hello 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 to you my God, my Father, we draw healing from heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. My Father and my God, I bleed the blood of Jesus this morning. I bleed, I bleed the blood of Jesus this hour in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I draw upon heavenly resources today in the name of Jesus. My Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. I come before your presence, Lord, to pray to your people, my Father, because you are our resources, God. Everything that we need, Lord, we depend on you. Because the word says we will pray and we will direct our prayers unto thee and we look up. Lord, we are looking up to you, to you, because you are our helper, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, my Father, I confess that this is the day that the Lord has made. We, I will rejoice and be glad in it. In the name of Jesus, let us confess. This is the day the Lord has made. We will be rejoiced and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. 
Therefore, because this is the day the Lord has made, the Bible says we will rejoice and be glad in it. Therefore, you have to rejoice. Any sadness, anything that make you to, to, to not to rejoice, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Because it's the day the Lord has made. It's the hour the Lord has made. It's the time the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. In the name of Jesus, Jesus' name. Lord, let us rejoice. Anything that make you sad, anything that is mistreating you, anything that will make you your time to be sad, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray that because it's the day, it's the time, the hour that the Lord has made, we will be rejoiced and be glad in it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I am praying to you. I decree that all the elements of this day will cooperate with you in Jesus' name. Every element of this day will cooperate with you in the name of Jesus. You have to ask everything, every element to cooperate with you, not to cooperate with the enemy. You have to take authority against the day, against the time. You command every demon to obey you and, and get out of your, your, your way in Jesus' name. You take authority in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the elements of this day will cooperate with you in Jesus' name. You have the authority. Jesus Christ has given you authority to take a degree and to command every all the elements of that day shall obey you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank God that God is able because we have the authority. When we direct our prayers unto the Lord and we look up, we command you every element. I take authority by the power and the blood of Jesus. This day, you will cooperate in the name of Jesus. You will cooperate with these people. You command every element to cooperate with you. They have to obey and hear you in Jesus' name. You are the child of, the, the, of, the child of God. So that everything it has here and they have to obey you. They have to command you. They have to cooperate with you in Jesus' name. My God, I thank you, Father. I give you all the glory in Jesus' name. My God and my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Let's, uh, let us look in the, in, the, in the book of Psalms 90, verse 14. Psalms 90, verse 14. The Bible says, Oh, satisfy us early with mercy that we may rejoice and be glad our days. The Bible says, satisfy, hallelujah, thank you my sister, thank you for joining. Satisfy us early with the mercy that we may rejoice big and be glad our days. Let us be, yes, Psalms, Psalms 90 verse 14. Oh Lord, satisfy us early with the masses, early in the morning, as the Lord sanctify with the mercy, it is masses of God. It's when God really experiences his mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. All our days. So early, when you wake up, when you, this all time, or whatever time it is, the masses of God that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. We must be rejoiced and be glad all our days, all the time. It says all, all the day. That's what the Bible says. It says all the day we will be rejoiced. That we may rejoice and be glad all our days. God has not said that you will be sad, you will be mourning, you will cry. But he said you will be rejoiced all the day in the name of Jesus. You need to be happy. You need to be rejoiced. Because the word of God does not contradict. It says you must, anything that will make you sad, anything that will make you cry, anything that will make you, remember you take the authority against every element. Anything that will stand against you, will stand in your way. You command them, they have to, co they have to cooperate with you. Sadness. That is coming on your way. You command them to go back where it came from. When you look at this scripture, you cannot give the devil to take your peace. Because God has said that we will rejoice all and be glad all our days in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, 
I want to look at King James. Yes, my God. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. You are wonderful. You are a wonderful. You are a wonderful God. We thank you for your word, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord Jesus. My God, I thank you. It is the same. This is King James. NIV. I, I, I don't know where it is. But King James, that is what it says. It says, Oh, satisfy us. Ali with the masses. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God will satisfy us in the morning, in the early hours, and we will be rejoiced and be glad in it, in the name of Jesus. It says, satisfy us each morning with your unloving love, so we may sing for joy to the end of our lives. Yes, this is a, uh, this is a, this is a new living Bible. This is a new living. So the Bible says here, it says, Sant satisfy us each morning with your unfailing and un un unfalling love, so we may sing for joy to the end of our lives. It satisfies us. Hurry with the, with the mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Our God satisfies us. Hurry with the mass. He satisfies us with the mass of God. The mass of God. You need the mercy, masses of God. You need the mercy that you may rejoice and be glad all our days. The masses of God, we pray that God in the morning to have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Masses of God. Masses of God fall upon us. We need the mass of God. We need forgiveness of God. We need mass of God this morning so that we can rejoice and, and be glad all our days. When you, need, when you have mass of God, there is nothing that can, can hold you. Because the mass of God is upon you. It is the mass of God that will guide you and help you. It is God to have you mercy. That's why you have wake up and pray God. Have mercy upon you. Mistakes we do. Things we do. If God can reverse it, you can just plead God. Have mercy on us, God. Have mercy, oh God, my Father. You need even, even you need this mercy to forgive your enemies. You need mercy. To forgive people who have wronged you. You need the mercy of God. Because God is a, a massive God. Once God, God forgives you. And you also have mercy to forgive somebody. Hallelujah. Because God in the morning. He has our mercy. He has mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, I decree that this element of forces. Will refuse to cooperate with your enemies this day. Because the mass of God will not let the enemy to cooperate. Will not let the enemy to come to your life. Because of the mass of God. God will have mass upon you. And destroy and remove any evil, anything programmed in you. This time in Jesus name. My God and my Father. I want to thank you. I want to bless you this morning. As you wake up. If this, it is morning. It is good. Like this, this is the time we, we command you. Anything, this time, like this time, the sun signing, the Bible says that the sun shall not smite you in the day or in the night. The, the day, the, the sun shall not smite you in the day, the moon shall not smite you in the, in the night, in, in the night. Therefore, we talk to this, we command, we speak unto you the sun, the moon and the stars. You will not smite you, it will not smite you and your family. This day in the name of Jesus. There is powers in the, the sun. There is powers that... The, that's why the David was praying like that. There is powers that you need to talk to them. You say anything programmed in the sun. Against my life. Against my family. I destroy. Do not smite. Do not smite me. So you, you command. You talk to the day. You talk to the morning. You talk to the, to the moon. Because there is power. When you see do not smite me. Do not smite you. It means that there is some powers that, it, that is in the sun, 
which will come and smite you. Therefore, you pray that God, because remember, God, God of mercy, he will have mercy on you so that this sun, the sun cannot smite you in the name of Jesus. You know the sun can smite you, then you can, you can contract cancer, you can contract sickness. That's why David was praying that the son, you the son as you are signing, you are the beauty, you are a good son. Please let you, as you sign, sign for me. Let everything shine good to me. Therefore, you pray that let the son not smite you with anything in the name of Jesus. You pray, you pray in the morning, you pray, you pull down every negative energy planning to operate against you. There is some energies. The, the, the energy that is the enemy is using to, to throw energy from you. You feel so tired. You feel you are yearning. You have no energy. You command them. You cannot throw any energy in me. When you pray this morning, you say, my God, fill me with a new energy. Fill me with the fresh oil in the name of Jesus. As you wake up and you praise God, the Lord, you wake up even this time. When you are so tired, you feel like somebody is throwing energy from you. This is the time you command Command them to, to, to stop in the name of Jesus, not to cooperate with you, not to cooperate with the enemies, to take, to throw energy from you in the name of Jesus. My God, I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's look in another scripture from the book of Mark, the book of Mark 1, verse 35. The Bible says, in the morning, rising up a great while before the day, he went out and departed unto solitary places, and there he prayed. Our Lord Jesus, he understood how to, to tap the blessings of the morning, how to tap the power in the morning. Because Jesus, he understood very well. In the morning, there is power. In the morning, there is glory, the glory of God. In the morning, there is, there is, there is a time that you will talk and command everything programmed in that day, everything pro programmed in the, in the morning, everything that the enemy is planning against you, against your family, anything. When you pray in the morning, there is power in the morning. I'm not saying only in the morning is when God can hear us. Because the Bible says, early in the morning, we'll direct our prayer and look up. So here, Jesus went to direct his prayer in, 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 in the morning and he look up. So we, we are, I'm asking every one of us that we should learn how to direct our prayers in the morning and we look up. Our Lord Jesus departed unto solitary places, a private place where no noise, where nobody sees him. And he went there to talk to our Father. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that wherever you are, when you get this chance, talk to your Father. There is power in the prayer. There is power in the morning prayer. Therefore, I pray that God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, because there is prayer, there is power in the prayer, and I start that I pray that God would help us. God would, would help us and deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that God Almighty, as our Lord Jesus was teaching us, and we follow his steps, we follow his direct, himself, Jesus, if we could wake up in the morning and go to the solitary places, a private place to pray. Therefore, he knows that he understands that if, if he doesn't pray, it wouldn't be good. So that we must learn how to pray in the morning. My God and my Father, I pray the blood of Jesus over this time, over this day, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything programmed in the day, anything programmed against our life, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. A first satanic dream that came to me, that, that came to us while we are sleeping, I destroyed them. Maybe when you sleep, you wake up, you, you, you are head because you had a terrible dream. That is the time you command them to die. You destroy them, you cancel them. You command them, you that dream that came to me while I was sleeping, I destroy you, I cancel you. You will not manifest, man, manifest, manifest in my life. You command the dreams to get out of your mind in Jesus' name. And you bring the blessings of God. You pray this is the day, remember, this is the day that you will be rejoiced and be glad in it. Therefore, anything that is terrifying you, scare you, 
sickness, you wake up, you feel you are sick, headache, you, you can't preach properly, you command that demon to get out of your life in Jesus' name. It's the day that you will rejoice. The Bible says you will be rejoiced and be glad in it. So you cannot rejoice. When you wake up, you feel pain, you feel sick, you have terrifying dreams. So the dream is in your mind and you are thinking, what kind of the dream? What does it mean? What is symbolic of these dreams? So you cannot be happy. You've been thinking, yeah, miserable. You have been fighting the whole night. Somebody has annoyed you. Your boyfriend that you didn't, you have not heard from him. You have, your husband, you didn't have a good night. You've been bothering, you've been worrying, you've been fighting. Or maybe you have a curse in the court. Or you are going to interview so much stuff. So you, when you talk to the day, when you talk before you go, you command them to obey in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. When you, when you, you, when you know how to command the morning and how to pray, you will make the demons anything in, which is standing against you to obey you. Because it's a command. You just take authority. Remember you have been given authority. This authority is not for pastors. This authority is not for prophets. This authority is not for, for, for only, only, only people who are called, or only people like bishops or, or pastors. It is for you. Everyone was given this authority. The authority you have been, it said, believers, I have given you authority. Everybody will believe in the name of Jesus. So you open your mouth and pray. You open your mouth and pray. You say, in the name of Jesus, I destroy every satanic dream that came to me. And even if my husband, my wife, that has terrified me, we've been fighting the whole night, or we've been fighting, Lord have mercy. Remember, the Bible says in the morning, God will have mercy. So you say, God, have mercy. Everything that we have been fighting, God, destroy them. Destroy, and you have a heart of forgiveness. You know, forgiveness is the big thing. That does, that when, it, when there is no forgiveness, that's why even divorce, even everything scatter. You, when you, ha you have the mass of God, you ask God, yet your mass come upon our marriage. Let our mass fall upon us. Yes, we've been fighting. This is my husband. This is my wife. The devil entered into between us and we are fighting. God have mass on us. God have mass on us. Have mass on us, God. Even your children, even your posts, everywhere. When you remember to bleed the mass of God, say, God have mercy. And Lord, forgive us. If I'm wrong, forgive me. So you bleed the mass of God so that you close the door that the enemy will come to make the use of the, the things which was going on with you. The immediately after the fight, you start getting angry. You start getting angry. Remember the Bible says, do not get angry until and then the day goes down. Don't wait until your day goes down. When the day goes down, then you are still angry. You open a big door for the enemy to attack you. So nobody will pray for you. Nothing will happen to you unless you know how to bleed the mass of God. Unless you know how to pray and bleed the mass of God to forgive you and help you so that you can be happy and rejoice all, all the days. You cannot be happy and rejoice all the days if you are not forgiving. If you are not bleeding the mass of God. If something happened. You would feel very angry. You would feel really bad. But remember, the choice is yours. Don't let the sun go down. Some people, sun, the sun can go down hundred times, years and months. They're still holding something in their heart. Many Christians, they remember, the devil makes you to remember. Every time you start to remember, then you get angry. That's why you need a mass of God. You need to, to bleed the masses of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. You ask God to forgive you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. You are a wonderful God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Father. I thank you and I give you all the glory, my God. You are a wonderful God. This morning, as I call, I call your presence, God. I pray that God help us. Help your people, my Father. Help your people, God, my Father. I destroy the demons of anger. The demon of anger that is making to us many people to be sad because of angry anger 
you are a liar. Get out of these people in Jesus' name. Bitterness. You become very bitter. And that is why when you are so bitter, the devil says thank you. He comes to you. Enter. When the devil comes in and enters, because you open the door for bitterness, remember you direct your prayers and look up. Look to the heaven. Let God take care of you. Everything. You don't be bitter. Yes. Let God take care of everything. The Bible says, cast your burden to God. He is able. He will take care of. When you take care, when you take by yourself, that's why the enemy comes in. That's why the enemy can defeat you. Take, cast your cares unto God. He is able to take care of you. P pray and look up. Pray, trust God for your prayers. If you are bitter and forgiveness, you don't want to forgive. You become very bitter. You talk a lot. Then you can't, that, that you, there's no way that even you can be happy. You will be miserable. You will be defeated by the enemy. That's, that's where many people are falling. When you are so sad, you are very angry. You repeat, you remember, you just repeat again and again and again again. That's when the prayers cannot be heard. You remember you take authority. Every element, anything that is working against you, you take authority against it. You command them, you anger, you bitterness in my heart, get out. Yes, I know we've been fighting with this, but I remember the masses of God will help us. There's a condition there. God cannot say, be, be glad and rejoice all the day, and then, and then you, you force God because the scripture is saying, you decide to do your own, you, are, you, you, try, you try to do your own, then you expect God that you will be happy. Never. A lady was forcing me to agree with her things. And I saw her that she cannot, there's no way. God is, is, God is, is a God of impossibility. There is nothing too difficult that God cannot do. But God cannot make you tall. That is, can, God cannot do that. The way God has created you, that is how you would be. Yeah? The God cannot make you to be tall like 10 inches. That one is impossible to God. Yes, God can do things. It's nothing hard. If we want, he can do that. But he has made his own choice and the way he do things. So this woman was resisting, but she lives in bitterness. She doesn't want to forgive. She is so bitter. So that she opened the devil, she opened doors for the devil. You cannot, you can't defeat the devil when you are like that. You need to declare yourself from your heart. You need to bleed the mass of God. Sometimes people hurt you, yes. I am not refusing. Even me, people hurt me so much. But I know one thing. You hurt me, so I pray and ask God, I plead the mass of God first of all. I said, God have mass on me. I don't want to hold anything to this person. I don't want to think what the person has done to me. Lord, have it, take it. Have mass and I am releasing this thing from me. I'm not going to allow the devil to take my joy. I'm not going to allow the devil to take my peace. Therefore, I pray that God help me. Have mass on me. First of all, I hold my heart. I say, God, have mass on me. Deliver me, God. I need your love. I need you, Lord, right now. This thing has happened to me. I am a human being. Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. You pray like that. The devil does not want that, that, such a prayer. Something is really bad happening to you. Like you wake up, you, you think, how am I going to meet the, the bills? How am I going to do? What is it? The, 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 those the collectors are calling you, are calling you. They make you sad. Yeah? They scare you. When you hear the calls, the phone, you think they are the ones who are calling you. Say, God, I don't want to, these things to continue in my life. Have mass on me. These things is taking my joy, is taking my peace. Therefore, my father. I take authority against everything that is working against me. That is working against my life to take away my peace. I need to be rejoiced and be glad in it. Father, provide that way. I commit it to you, Lord. I commit my ways to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver me, God. Deliver me, God. You are the owner of the finances. You are the owner of silver and gold. You are a God who can provide. Your word says you will, will provide my needs according to your riches and glory. My Father, deliver me. 
you pray, you bleed the mercy. Remember in the morning, you bleed the mass of God. So the mass of God, God will come. God will bring his mercy. The mass of God will fall upon you. That's how you, you pray. You ask God. When you are facing a situation, you wake up in the morning. You start talking to God. You say, my God, my Father, have mass on me. I don't want to live this life anymore. I don't want to be miserable. I don't want enemy to take my peace, to take my joy. Because your word says, I will be, I will be rejoicing all the days of my life. Therefore, I'm not rejoicing God. What is going on? Help me, deliver me. It's your father. You talk to him. He will listen to you because you direct your prayers and you look up. You look where your father is. You say, I, you are my father. I cannot go to anywhere. I'm not going to the devil because the devil cannot help me. The devil is destroying me. Therefore, I am coming to you as my father. You know my situation right now. You know I don't have anything in my fridge. My fridge is empty. My, my pocket is, is nothing. I have nothing in the bank. I have nothing except you, Lord. Help me. Deliver me. And then the Lord will show his mercy. Because the masses of God is there. And they will deliver you. Thank you very much. God bless you so much. See you again another time. Have a wonderful time. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye, bye, bye bye. Remember to go to our website www.overcomersdhm. Ah, uh, sorry, www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca, and our email address is overcomers dhm at gmail.com I have a training I've started deliverance training school and it is in the website you can go there you see news and events news and events there is a form there to fill and all the courses is there I am training I started last last, last Saturday it is six weeks uh, training if you want to become a deliverance minister, prophetic and prophetess, I will train you. It is a very powerful and I will give you the certificate. It is the materials I have and God will help you. So go to our website, look at the, the, the press where they say event, uh, events, news and events. You will see the prayers, and the, 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 the form is there. And the courses is there. So you just fill it. You send it to me. You fill the, 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 the you fill your name. Then you, you copy it. You, you, you send with your email. So that I can get your email. Thank you very much. God bless you. So go to our website. www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca you will see news and events. That's where the, the training is. Deliverance Training School. If you want to become a deliverance minister, prophet, prophetess, I will train you. God bless you so much. And I have a wonderful time. Thank you. Bye.